hey bro, you have that confusion as well. Have you ever spent an hour editing meticulously only to produce a 60 second video that gets you zero views? Frustrating, isn't it? You think of looking for a tool to help you with the editing, but the sea of options is overwhelming. Today, I'm on a quest to save you from all the trouble and confusion. I'll be testing out four different AI tools to see which one really stands out. So our four competitors today will be Opus, Clap, Leo, and Clip. Now why do I choose four of these AI tools out of so many AI tools? Mainly it's because it is popular and it offers free trial for us, which I feel that is extremely important. But I feel that by exploring all those AI tools that have free trial, it's a way for you guys to go over and try as well. Because it may work for me, but it may not work for you. So actually the verdict that I will be giving at the end of the video is ultimately based on my own content and my video quality. It may not work on you guys, but I feel that it may give you a good range of what the AI is capable of and you guys can go over and try since there are free trials. And this video, it's brutally honest because it is not sponsored or whatsoever. It's just I'm in a situation whereby I create long videos and it's already like, tiring enough. So I want to find ways to like effectively cut out shots. So to keep things interesting, I have got two distinct footages for our experiment. So the first one would be the edited video of the $12 phone cooler review that I just released yesterday and a raw video pitch for my agency. So I'm going to evaluate these tools on several criteria, including feedback and review the price. Next, the ease of use and the quality of the output, which I feel that is the most, most, most important point out of all the factors. So is it intelligent in selecting the clips? Is the AI capable to produce high quality shots without compromising the video or audio quality? And how intelligent is the AI selecting the clips? So at the end of the video, I will be giving you my verdict and my judgment. I will be ranking them based on best to the worst. So stay tuned. First up, VO. VO prides itself on its AI-driven video content creation, engaging captions, auto-reframing, and customization. But a quick Google search throws up a negative review from SAS Genius. While there are many articles written about it, there is a conspicuous silence on Foyops. So for video, it's rather easy to use. You can either upload the file or insert the YouTube URL. Next, select the template and personalize your message using your YouTube handle or Instagram handle. And you are done. Now on to Clip. Clip AI not only detects punchy starting lines, but it also retrieves clips that resonate well with viewers and suggest similar highlights. A feature is its text-based editing. You select the parts of the transcript, also say goodbye to the annoying feelers with its string feature. Despite its features, it's not all roses. A YouTube comment by Rufus100 under Daily Media's calls out clip for being lackluster support videos and difficulty in trimming clips. Not looking good clips. In my opinion, Clip, I feel that it is the most troublesome as it requires you to answer all the questions before you can start uploading. So once you're done with those stupid questions, upload and choose your highlight criteria and you are set. Alright, now lastly, which is the king of... <laughs> so lastly, I would say that this is the king of video editor, Opus Clip. I've seen a lot, a lot of YouTubers talking about Opus Clip this year. The Opus Clip website. This video, I will be reviewing Opus Clip and AI ports editing using Opus Pro. So I would just read it as the most popular AI video editor, I guess. Take a look at the feature. There is a unique AI emoji generator and the keyword highlighter. On Product Hunt, there is an impressive 4.9 out of 5 rating from 124 reviews. But interestingly, a lot of YouTubers have something to say about them and it's not good. Opus is the easiest. Import, upload, and wait. And you're set. What's up guys? So it's exactly 9.30 p.m. right now. And let's go through the footages. Now, I need to clarify one thing. I don't have the Razer phone cooler on hand, but I have seen <laughs> If yes, like how is it? What are some of the challenges that you face? The quality of footages from Opus Clip, I would say it's decent. The keyword emoji tracking is pretty good. Auto frame, not bad. But remember to specify the language as the auto detection sucks. And it didn't manage to clip out any engaging content. Next up, view. On the $12 Taobao phone cooler. This video isn't a direct comparison. 91% of consumers want to see more online videos from brands. The quality of video footages, in my opinion, is slightly lower than Opus because of the auto frame. 
for keyword tracking, it did a pretty good job. And unfortunately, the AI trim didn't manage to capture any engaging content as well. Let's see where the clip can save the day. We will be looking at things like the price, the unboxing experience, the performance. You are paying for the quality. You are not paying for our office. You are not paying. <sighs> clip is the worst among all. Neither did it have any keyword tracking, nor a good auto frame. And the site is super laggy. Let's not talk about its ability to capture engaging content. It's saddening. Thank you for watching till the end. And yes, I do have a verdict in my mind. But it may not be something that you guys are expecting. In my opinion, there isn't a winner. What do I mean by that? I don't see myself subscribing to any one of them after I test out. And I don't think you guys should. AI to me right now, it's still at its very early stage. And it still have a long way to go to mature. I would say that right now, it is still not replaceable to how we edit the videos and whatsoever. Like the simple how they edit and how the AI capture. The only creative AI trying to clip interesting parts is Opus. The rest is just like capturing one sentence, one interesting sentence, then just cut 60 seconds afterwards, like video and clip. Clip is horrendous. Please just avoid it. But if you were to ask me to rank them from 1 to 3, obviously the third place would be clip. It's really super disappointing. And the runner up second place would be video. I mean, it's kind of expected. And the first one, it's Opus. Yep but I wouldn't subscribe to any one of them. Yeah, so that's about it. And thank you for watching. Till next time.